In today's video, we are going back to the basics with a Uniqlo haul. Now this is my first time trying the brand and I'll give you my honest opinion. Let's begin. Starting things off with a women's ribbed tank top. I'm wearing a size medium and I think it fits absolutely great. I could easily size down to a small if I wanted to be a little bit more fitted, but I wanted to have a little room to breathe in it. It hits me just about here, mid hip area, but you can easily tuck it in. And as you can see, there's not really any bulk. I'd say this is a great layering piece. It's a cotton and spandex blend. And overall, I'd say it's a true winner. Moving on to the trousers. These are the women's pleated wide trousers. As you can see, there are two pleats on either side. It has real pockets in the front and in the back. These are stitched, but you can easily unstitch them. This is a very light color, and you can see that you can somewhat see the pockets through it. It is not lined. I wouldn't say that it's anything that is bothersome, at least to me anyway. I'm wearing it here with some white sneakers, and you can see the length of them. These are a 31 inseam. I'm five foot seven for reference and you can see where it's hitting me. So these are not trousers that I would wear with heels. These don't come in multiple inseams, at least from what I've researched on the website. I bought everything in store and I did not see any multiple inseams uh, available in the store either. I'd recommend if you are taller than five foot seven, you might have a little trouble with these hitting you a little high, but I think anyone shorter than five foot seven would probably be just fine with these. These trousers come in five different colors. I'm especially loving this sage color and this light dusty blue color as well. I think they're perfect for spring. I finished off the outfit with this relaxed tailored blazer also from Uniqlo. This is an absolutely gorgeous, simple, basic, slightly oversized, but very tailored looking jacket. I really love how this looks with these trousers. It is very workwear appropriate, especially if you're to pair it with a loafer or maybe a ballet flat, a little bit more appropriate for work. But these white sneakers easily give this a more casual everyday look and probably appropriate for some offices as well. You'll see this jacket does not have any shoulder pads. And since I'm very broad shouldered, it does not bother me at all. But if you're looking for a little bit more of that boxy broad shoulder feel, you can easily add in shoulder pads yourself. I think it's beautifully tailored, has a great lapel, two nice looking buttons. Also three buttons on the end of the sleeve. They do have real pockets which are stitched closed, but you can easily access them by opening up that seam. Only thing I do have to call out is if you can see the inside lining here, there's lining on each side of the jacket and also through the top portion of the back. You'll see that the rest of it is not lined here underneath. I mean, that's not a deal breaker for me. It doesn't really bother me, but I just wanted to call it out to you. It has a really great fit. The sleeves are nice and long. I do prefer to roll them up and pull them up just a little bit to reveal my beautiful jewelry and my dainty little wrist. I think it's just a great styling trick to do with jackets. I feel like when you have them all the way down, it makes it a little too formal and sometimes I think it leans a little too frumpy as well. You can use a little hair tie trick to get them up there and I think it makes all the difference. And you'll see I made just a quick little change here. I changed out the tank top for a black one and the blazer for the black one as well. And it just transforms the entire outfit. By the way, I picked up these blazers in a medium and I think they're a perfect fit. And the trousers are a medium as well. Overall, I'd say we're off to a fantastic start with Uniqlo. By the way, you'll have to forgive me for my raspy voice. I've somehow lost my voice. I don't know how I'm not sick or anything, but I think it sounds a little sexy. So I just went along with it. By the way, if you are new here, hello, my name is Maria. And this channel is all about exploring our love for fashion. We have a very chic, feminine, and sophisticated aesthetic here. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, I think you're gonna love it here. Please subscribe to this channel by hitting that little red subscribe button down below and join the family. I post every Wednesday and I'd love to see you come back. And we have just hit 7,000 subscribers. So if you're a longtime subscriber or even a recently new one, thank you so much for your love and support. I can't do this without you. Okay, on to the next outfit. Next up, we have a mock neck sleeveless cropped sweater. Try saying that five times. This is a very darling sweater, I absolutely adore it. I think it is a perfect size for me. I've actually sized up to a large because I did try the medium in store and I felt it was 
pulling a little bit too much at my chest. So I went up to a size large. I also like that it hits me a little bit lower and I think that's perfect. If you're afraid of showing a little too much skin, I definitely recommend sizing up in this little sweater. This also comes in six colors and at this great price point, why not just get all six so you can have them and rotate them and use them whenever you need to. One thing I've come to learn that I've always struggled with my wardrobe is that I am missing a lot of basic pieces. Pieces like this or like ribbed tank tops, t-shirts, things that you need to just kind of start an outfit with, something that helps act as a layering piece. A real simple basic piece that you just might otherwise overlook is really truly essential in your wardrobe. Moving on to these fabulous trousers and guess what? ladies they are tapered ankle length trousers and you know I love these so much if you saw my last video I said to quote unquote ditch these which I never actually meant ditch I just meant set them aside and maybe focus on a newer trend that's coming in if you wanted to refresh your wardrobe but again I also mentioned that I love my tapered ankle length trousers I am sticking to them until the day I die and I am not getting rid of the ones that I have because I love them. They are so flattering. And these are nothing different, actually. These are fantastic from Uniqlo. And I'm so in love with these. So let's talk about these for a quick second. These are high-waisted trousers. They are cutting me off right at my belly button, ever so slightly lower than my natural waist, which is fine because they fit very comfortably up here. Real pockets in the front, same thing in the back. You can unstitch them to access the pocket, but why would you? It just keeps a nice, clean appearance in the back there so who puts anything in the back pockets anyway just leave it closed and don't open them these are a 27 inseam so they're hitting me just at my ankle the wonderful thing about uniqlo though is that you can also go onto the website when you order online and hit the little alteration button and choose your inseam size and they can actually alter it and send it to you that way it's a really great one-stop shop no need to go to the tailor they'll do it all for you right then and there and of course, just a quick little nod to my fabulous crystallized booties. These are from Steve Madden, and I am completely obsessed. They are absolutely fabulous. Look how they just transform what is kind of a simple outfit into something so much more fabulous. And not to take away from these trousers because these are absolutely amazing all on their own. If you are on the hunt for white trousers, I say check these out because these are absolute beauties. Next up, we have this extra fine merino wool short sleeve sweater. I absolutely love this sweater. It is so super soft and very, very light. The short sleeves make it a perfect transitional piece from winter to spring. Again, I sized up to a large in this because I felt again that the medium was hitting me a little too tightly across the chest. So for comfort value, I sized up to a large and I love how this looks. It hits me just below the waistband here, so it's wonderful for tucking in. And again, it's a nice thin sweater, so it's not creating any bulk. It comes in five colors, so again, for a merino wool sweater, it is a fabulous price point. I just can't get over how great these price points are. I think a must-have staple for spring and summer is a light and airy linen shirt. And this is Uniqlo's premium 100% linen long sleeve shirt. Probably one of the better linen shirts I have ever tried on. I used to have one from Zara, which I got rid of because after one or two washes, it completely fell apart. But I don't see that happening with this. I think it is a beautiful linen, feels great on the skin. This is a size medium, and I'd say it's very true to size. It fits me beautifully across the chest. There is no gaping on the buttons, and it's great across my back as well. My very broad shoulders are fitting very comfortably in the size medium. It's a beautiful length on the sleeves, as you can see, just hitting me past my wrists, and I love that. I always turn them up just a little bit to show, of course, my wrist and some beautiful jewelry. So most of the time I wear the shirts open like this. The shirt is quite long, hitting me just about down here, but easy to tuck in and it doesn't create a lot of bulk. The great thing about this linen shirt also is that it comes in 10 colors. There's gotta be something in there to suit your wardrobe. And at this price point, you can definitely grab up quite a few. At this point, I've made three different outfits out of these trousers and I'm absolutely loving them. And these are definitely going to be keepers. So the label is coming off. <laughs> 
All right, here's the next outfit. Starting off with a t-shirt. This is Uniqlo's Supima Cotton Short Sleeve Crew Neck T-shirt. And what can I say about this? It is your basic everyday t-shirt, but somehow it's on another level. I feel like it is a t-shirt that I would actually wear because I do not enjoy wearing t-shirts. I think they're really boring, but something about this, it just fits just right. It's not too oversized. It's not too tight. I think it just has a really good structure to it. The Supima Cotton is super soft and very nice not see-through at all and it's a really good length again enough to tuck in without any issue I like the sleeves because they are not too short not too long as Goldilocks would say they are just right and yeah just a great basic t-shirt I think it comes in almost like 10 9 or 10 colors so again you can have your fair share of t-shirts to go with each and every outfit mix and match them and and just have an abundance of outfits to create out of a basic t-shirt moving on to these trousers these are the pleated wide pants I'd say these are very similar to the cream colored pants I showed at the beginning of the video but I feel like they have a little bit of a difference in them for example they do not have two pleats they only have one they are high-waisted like the others I'd say they even sit a tiny 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 bit higher than the other ones that I showed you and what's strange is that the website has this listed as a 28.5 inseam however I feel like they are hitting me pretty much at the same spot as the cream trousers were that were 31 inseam so I find that a little odd but I did notice one little thing I felt like the crotch if you can see it is hanging down pretty low so if I were to hike the crotch up higher I mean this is ridiculous I'm sorry I know if I hike the crotch up to where it would sit normally <laughs> then yes they are kind of a bit of a high water situation going on there so I find that a little strange because sitting at my natural waist there long enough, but I guess then they just kind of have a little bit of a longer hanging crotch, but nothing that seems odd or weird looking. I mean, I don't feel frumpy or sloppy in these whatsoever, so I just find that to be kind of a little strange thing to point out. All in all, I think I love these trousers. I love the window pane. They also come in a gray window pane as well. I think it's a nice little monochromatic outfit here, really casual with some Stan Smiths here that are also new I just got. So can you imagine a girl that used to never wear white sneakers and now I have two pairs <laughs> or three? I actually have three pairs now. That's really funny. That's, I don't know, who, who is this person? Who is, who is she? I have a couple more pieces to show you, but if you're enjoying this video so far, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. It is a small gesture, but it speaks volumes to helping us small creators out. So I'd love it if you please take a quick moment and do that. Thank you. Here's the next outfit. A great transitional and classic piece that is sure to take you from winter into spring, summer, and fall season is the trench coat. And Uniqlo has made this short trench and it is absolutely fabulous. This is a size medium. I'd say it's very true to size. I have a lot of room. It's very spacious, very comfortable. This is a double-breasted style, and you'll see inside it is fully lined, so I'm really, really happy about that. I'd say this is an unbeatable trench coat for this price point and wonderful to wear in milder climate weather. Moving on from the perfect t-shirt to the perfect button-down blouse. This is Uniqlo's Rayon Long Sleeve Shirt. If you need some new button-down shirts to freshen up your workwear wardrobe, I'd say these are the perfect ones. They have a really great feel and they have a very relaxed fit. I'm wearing a size medium and as you can see, it is comfort all around. It's not gaping at the chest and it's not pulling at my shoulders either. The sleeves are really nice and long. This is the beautiful light pink color, but it comes in a multitude of colors and a couple of patterns as well. I definitely think you should check these out if you're looking to add some new workwear pieces into your wardrobe or a mix for a great everyday piece as well. If you're looking for a more of a cropped style tee, Uniqlo has got you covered there as well. This is the Slub Jersey Cropped T-shirt. It's cropped, but not overly cropped to show a ton of skin. I'm wearing the size medium and you'll see that it's hitting me right here at the waistband. Still enough to like, tuck in a little bit into some high-waisted trousers or jeans if you want it to. 
but I also like it just kind of hanging out. Moving on to these jeans, of course I can't have a basics haul without showing you a pair of denim, and these are the Uniqlo baggy jeans. Don't get misled by that word baggy because I don't find anything baggy about these jeans. These are a size 27, and they fit me perfectly at my waist. They are a little bit more of a mid-rise than a high-rise. As you can see, my belly button is right there, and they're just hitting me just below that. So it's not my favorite type of rise, but at least it's kind of close to my belly button and not too far down there. Otherwise, I definitely would not be recommending these. This is a size 27 and I'd say it's fairly true to size. However, lately I've been fitting more into a size 28 in denim for the most part. I've put on a few pounds, so 27 has been quite a squeeze for me lately. These are maybe running a little bit on the large side. You might want to try a size up and size down just to find the right fit for you. The only inseam it comes in is a 31. They're fitting me just like the trousers were, brushing against the tops of my shoes. They are 100% cotton, but they're not a rigid cotton. I feel super comfortable and very relaxed in these, and they're not stiff whatsoever. Really a great overall staple for your wardrobe. Dress them up, dress them down, but you'll have to keep them with flats if you're on the taller side. Well, it's safe to say my first Uniqlo haul has been a big success. I'm definitely fallen in love with this brand. Let me know if you've tried this brand before and what your experience has been. Leave a comment down below. Let's continue the conversation there. Again, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd love to have you come back. I'll leave another video on the screen for you to check out next. Thank you again so much for your love and support. I'm so happy you're here and I'll see you again soon.